Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Um, just been waiting for my aluminum to grow, so we finally got speed aluminum. So before we do that, let me just open up these loot bags. So we got some spider eyes and some cactus. Not overly exciting, but Spider eyes could come in handy. I have a couple, but not many. Alright, but anyway, let's go ahead and make this dust. I think it was like that. Yep. There is my Alamite. Isn't that, isn't that a quest? Oh, yeah, it's melted. So let's just go ahead and throw that in there. Did I? I moved this, but I did not add extra pipes. So that's not very good. Does that not smelt? Or did I? I oh, should be. I guess you just had to take it out and kind of like reset it. All right, so that's smelting. Um, I did a couple little quests here and there, and um, yeah, just for like the um the loot bags, basically. What we got here. Right. I ended up, I did the blank cast and then the casting form, even though I already had one. Um, I just put it back in the smeltery and melted it back down, but I wanted to complete that. Spawn chicken. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to really need any of those, but hey, I'll take it. And plus food's always nice too. Alright, so we got a couple things here. Just asking us to make some tin wire, so why don't we just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna need them. So, uh... Here, we'll just... Throw that in here. This, I feel like this is like bluer than I remember. Like the UI or whatever. It's like a bluish kind of thing. I don't remember it being that color. Um, years ago when I last played. Uh, Craig Tech. Alright, so. Get that tin cable. Is it a crafting? Yeah, it's a crafting thing. So unfortunately, I'm getting a bit low on rubber here because I need you have to do the plates, right? Yeah, it's got to be. Rubber plates are liquid, yeah, which obviously we don't have yet. And I can't, I could do. Yeah, the extruder would probably be the easiest. And I can actually use the extruder at this low level for these rubber sheets, so maybe that is something to possibly look at. Um, but for now, unfortunately, got to keep doing the two for one on the, the rubber plates here. Oh, rubber bars, I'm sorry. I mean, I have a ton of. Lots of sulfur, lots of the dust. Where did I put the. Oh, 
Where did I put that dust? In here? Yeah. So... Maybe not that much. Maybe we'll just do... I don't know. What is it? It's nine, isn't it? So... Right, this is the thing, right? Yeah. Alright, so, anyway, let's... Cut those, so... Anyway, I'm just gonna kinda... That's like one silver, or one sulfur, and... Let me just take that. I was gonna take the other one, but... Yeah, so that got me 10 iron ore. I'll take that. It's a little more useful than a few sticky resin and this thing of sulfur. All right. Yeah, this doesn't. I was thinking this is. I was thinking the chemical recipe, chemical reactor recipe, not. Yeah, so that uses a lot of sulfur. All right. Anyway, so this looks like it's done. Right. Does that not count? All right, am I gonna have to melt this down? That's a bit of a pain. All right, so the dust I should have put in here and then poured out. I, uh, yeah, I didn't realize there was going to do two different types, and one type does not. It doesn't count. All right, but anyway. Uh, so this is going to be a pain, because i got to melt it down, get it for the quest to finish this quest, and then i got to put it back in, melt it down again so I can make these plates, right? Is this what I need? Yeah. And the only way you can do that is if you cast it on the large plates. Uh, let me I could throw it through an extruder, but yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a pain. But uh, let's see. Let's take this out. I need the large plate. Cat. Actually, I think I got one, didn't I? Yeah, I was preparing for it. So there is... That's. I don't think that's enough aluminum brass. So I gotta throw maybe another copper in there. Oh, that looks like it. Like exchanged, like where it was in the smelting process. That's kind of cool. All right, so there we go. That's enough. All right, yeah. So let's pour this over there. Get that, and then yeah, I'm gonna have to. Let me, where is this? I hear it. Oh, it's right there. Annoying. Um, let me get the ingots so I complete the quest and then I'll smelt them back down and uh, we will continue. All right, we got this quest done. I think I'm just gonna take the steel. I can do a Thomian tool rod or a block of gold. Just gonna take that. I think a slime tool rod is better than that. Um, but I'm glad I did that because the toll forge opened up a quest, so I gotta I already have these in the the um the crafting thing. I gotta take these out so I get credit. So I'm glad I saw that. Oops. Alright, but there is the large plate cast. Make sure the molten aluminite. Alamite. 
Yeah, so that needs eight. Yeah, eight. I have a couple extra. Maybe I will upgrade my... No. I was thinking maybe upgrading my pick, but... I don't know. Steel is just so much easier to... I would have to... Like, craft a bunch of... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. All right. But there is these. Let me just take this stuff out to get credit and then craft it again. So it was so like that. 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 <laughs> what was it again? Did I do something wrong here? Ah. I had it right the first time, but I forgot the... I think it was a hammer. Yeah. So there is the tool forge. Now I could have used this one, this tool station, but... Uh, I, um, I was kind of like using it already to repair stuff, and I didn't know how long it was going to take before I got the tool forge, so... But I am going to break this, and I'll probably put this in one of my mines, because um, most of them have a, a tool forge, so I can repair while I'm without having to come back. Um, but if we look at the tool forge, it opened up more more things here. Heater shield, round shield. These don't look like they have a a thing. But the main reason I wanted to get this was for the hammer. Um, now one of the things I could put in these are obsidian, which I think it is actually suggesting. Yeah, large obsidian plates give a reinforced modifier, which increases the durability. Um, how do we... yeah. So it looks like eight... I'm gonna need like eight Or no. Obsidian, yeah. Okay, so this one obsidian gives two ingots worth, and these things need. So I need four obsidian each, so I need. If I want to do. That's eight. Um, let's see what's in this. One iron ore. Exciting. All right, but uh, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna do. Yeah, here it is. So it's telling me to make steel. Um. So I guess we. That's eight. Like normally I wouldn't. Hmm. I'm gonna have to make some more patterns as well. Like, I wouldn't make this tool out of Ollie steel. I would do steel, obsidian, and then maybe like a slime tool rod. But unfortunately, to complete this quest, which, I mean, I don't technically need, but I do get coins and a loot bag. Um, I do like the wooden crossbow. I might make one of those, too. Yeah, but that's that's a lot of steel, and I don't know if I want to use that much. I am going to do... Although, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I can actually make the, the parts, get the... Um, get the... Um, the quest finished, and then I could actually melt them back down. I'm probably going to do that. Let me... Um, I'm probably going to... Yeah, I'm going to make these tools, I think... I um, and then I need to farm up some more materials here, I think. I'm really short on iron, and to continue on, I'm probably going to need a bunch of iron and steel, um, especially for, like, electric piston and the metal bender. Yeah, it just needs a lot of steel and iron and all sorts. So, yeah, 
Uh, let me take some time to get some weapons and go farming. All right, so as I was putting my tool together, I finished a couple quests here. So I did all the steel and then I melted it back down. I just need to get it out of the smelter again. Um, but I was going to do a tough tool rod and I realized um, it doesn't look like you can do that. Obviously you have all the different metal things, but it doesn't look like the slime crystals you can do as the tough tool rod. And these actually... You can either compress the slimy mud down 4 to 1 or alloy smelter, which is a better way. But the slimy mud recipe has been changed, so now you need grout. Um, but yeah, so that's not going to work for the like the, the tough tool rod. So I think I'm just going to go with another rack. But I just wanted to show that. So there we go. So reinforce three, stone bound. There we go. Unfortunately, oh, that actually does work. I was thinking that maybe it wouldn't work. It did, uh, did complete. So that's good. And there was another one I did, I don't remember. Did this one. Butter and salt. I have like nowhere to put this right now. I'll probably need it in these. Alright, so yeah, I just wanted to show that uh, slime tool rods doesn't look like it's a thing. I think they've been disabled, but um, anyway, let me go. I'm going to go use my You'll hammer to hammer up some uh, iron and finish that tetrahedrite. Um, see if I can finish this quest as well. All right, I did a bunch of mining here uh, for the tetrahedrite, stibonite, and the copper. I did some more uh, iron. Actually, before I do that, yeah, this Fuller's Earth is what... Actually, no, I'm not going to do that one, I think. We'll just do this one. Get that going. Really got to figure out my steam situation still. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do this. Um, but... Yeah, I got this one. So let's go ahead and claim that. So it didn't open up. I thought maybe it would open up something off that, but I probably need stuff over here. So let's go for this electric piston. So this piston here. So we got a bunch of steel. Made small steel here. That's right. Does this have a it has a, it does have an extruder recipe. Yeah, but all these metal extruder recipes are MD, unfortunately. Alright, so we need a motor. Uh, let's see what else. I want to do the the vending machine kind of next, I think. So need two pistons and two motors for the machine and then each piston so we need four motors here so a bunch of different um yeah so like four motors oh my file's going yeah lots of different The file. Let me just get that really quick. Okay. 
Do I have any more? I moved my smelter or my furnace and now I, I keep thinking it's right here, but it's not anymore. All right. So let's, let's get another file. So the it's two of those, right? I think, but the gear requires two rods. Let's see if I can remember this. Yeah, so each of these need four rods and four rods and four plates. Four rods. Four plates. Oh, I need to go get so much stuff I need to craft up here actually. Alright, I don't I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna do all this on while recording because it is quite a lot of waiting for machines to process materials and all sorts and I need to get all the steel I think I have about 20 ingots worth of steel um, that I need to get out of here so let me cut when I kind of get a little bit closer to um, crafting the bending machine all right, after quite a bit of crafting with steel and the motors, I have crafted the pistons. I like the name of the quest, too. <laughs> You're going to hate me. That's funny. So there is this quest. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's take some pistons. Well, yeah, we get both of them anyway. So what is this? As one said... <laughs> Had a plate bender to the LV tier book and then it popped into existence. Alright, so yeah, this is basically what I am doing. And there's no other thing, so let's just jump right in here. And I think it's this. Yep, so there is the basic vending machine. I'm going to lay this pretty good. Yeah, so this is, uh, I like the quests. They're guiding you pretty well with the uh, required ones. Ah, so here is the, the next one with the, that goes off this tetrahedrite line, which is, these are for batteries. Yep. There's empty cells. Oh, empty cells are good. Easy way to transfer fluids instead of having to use buckets all the time. So, okay. So I have turned all my machines for now. I'm going to replace these um, once I get the basic um, the machines that reduce the amounts of like materials needed for the machines um, but I did I turned them around and I put all events on top because I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of have a line coming down here for now so let's go ahead and break this I'm pretty sure if you break it with a pickaxe they explode so let's not find that out now can you no you can't so let's see here. To get 10 cable, it looks like you have to do it in. You can't just join them together, it looks like. And these, I can join these together, but I can't put the uh, rubber 
on them before I do that. So let's just, now that I broke my wire, oh, I have some right here. So if we, let's just do, I'm just going to do one for now because I don't want to waste all my, I don't want to waste all my, um, my rubber here because I'm using two ingots per, and I don't like that. I don't think this can go through a bending machine. No. It can go through the extruder. So a one-to-one. -one. So that cuts it in half. Um, but unfortunately this can't do. The LV extruder... No, it can do... Oh, that's probably a thing. Yeah, any of the <laughs> told that's wrong. Any of the metals have to be an MV extruder, it looks like, yeah. Alright, but anyway, so there is my tin 2x cable, and if I am correct in how these cables work in this version, I can do um, in the Greg Block series, I had to I had to have the same size cable along the entire line. So even if there was only one amp going to the very last one in a huge long line, I had to have the the same. Like if there were 16 amps running down the line, I had to have it the entire way, even though at the end I wasn't using 16 amps. But I think in this version. Of Greg Tech. Let's see. How do you? It's weird. It's not connecting. Oh, wire cutters. I need not. What am I doing? Yeah, there we go. So you need the wire cutters. So for this example, I can have the wire mill here and the bending machine here let's connect these and I can have these both running at one time so the amps actually now that I'm thinking about it I don't have any batteries this is only outputting one amp so um, but this is going to be a little more uh, important when I have batteries, but as of right now, I'm only outputting one amp, so I actually didn't even need that, but might as well kind of get started. Um, but one thing I do need, unfortunately, I have run out of some of the stuff. Um, I think I'm just gonna, once again, just I'm not gonna do this all the time, but. Maybe like one more set of uh, of these. Yep. All right. Because this is 150 right there, so I am getting a decent amount from completing these quests. So I think it's worth it. All right. But the circuit, I think. Let me just double check. If I put this in a crafting grid, does it turn into... Yeah. Alright, what am I missing? Red alloy cable. Alright, so if we do this, we turn into this program circuit. And these, do I have to do it in the crafting grid? Yes. Okay, so there's no like right clicking on this to set the thing. You have to put it in a crafting grid to get it to change, which I actually like being able to. Yeah, no right clicking on that. So if we look at the plate, iron, let's say iron plates. Iron plate. So right now we're doing the alloy smelter, which is two to one, or no, not that. 
the four chamber, which is three to two. If we do it in the bending machine, it's a one to one. And it looks like we need for um for the ingot to play recipe, it is a circuit one, so it's this one in the middle, and then a screwdriver top right. And I'm pretty sure that is Like if we put this down here, it's not going to be. So it is a shaped recipe. You got to make sure you have the right thing. So screwdriver, configuration one. And if I put this in here, I should finally get a one to one ratio. And it's faster too. So that just uh, lowered the amount of materials needed by quite a large amount. So instead of uh, 15 ingots, uh, steel ingots for one frame or one machine frame, it is uh, it's only eight now. Or yeah, so all right, so pretty good progression here. I said, yeah, I don't think that's really worth it. Yeah, wrought iron might be because that's a bit annoying. Uh, to make um, I can make empty cells now what is the empty cell recipe there's the quest for it um, where is it where is it bending machine so there's a couple of ways you can do it but the beginning one is yeah Tin or polytetrafluoroethylene. So I may make a bunch of these um, just to uh, transport fluids around easier. I wonder if I doubt you can use the empty cells on lava. Is there like a lava cell? There is. Wonder if this burns. I'm sure it hurts you, like holding a bucket of lava does. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, just slowly progressing to the steam age. Next, I am going to. I want to make a new boiler. And if we go to the multi-block hole, it's right here. The liquid-fueled firebox. And I can use the creosote that I'm getting from this, and I can burn it in the boiler to produce steam. So I might as well put some of this creosote to use instead of just breaking it and wasting all this creosote. Because um, I'm pretty sure creosote has been buffed as a, a burning... Um, where is it? So burn time 6400, whereas coal is only 1600. So I feel like that's, it's like worth like four coal. So I think that's been buffed. So I want to try out the, try it in a boiler. Because I remember uh, last time I tried to use it, it was going through creosote crazy fast. Um, because it was just burning up in a, a second or two, like a whole bucket. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for next episode. And then we will continue uh, crafting some more machines. Uh, I may work towards batteries sooner than later. I really am a fan of using batteries. Um, so not quite sure uh, if I'm going to do that yet, but uh, yeah, because that's going to require quite a few machines, like a candy machine and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.